Assalamualaikum. Hi guys. So based on the previous video, actually we already learned some bits of how to write the electronic configuration. So we know this is the method that we are going to show how the distribution of electrons in various orbitals for specific atom. We know there are two ways to do that, SPDF notation or orbital diagram, just like this diagram. So I'm going to explain one by one what are those things. Let's go to SPDF notation. SPDF notation use numbers to designate the principal shell with letters SPDFs. And then this is how we want to identify a subshell. You can see S here means that electron are in L equals to zero because this is angular momentum quantum number. Next, a superscript indicates the number of electrons. So you can see from here, two here is in superscript form where there are two electrons in one S subshell or one S sublevel. We are talking the same thing. And next, one here means that we have electrons occupy in first energy level, n equals to 1. Next, we have orbital diagram. Orbital diagram is what we call another name for it is box diagram. So each box represents each orbital within subshells. And then for electrons, we are going to use arrows. Arrows here can represent based on specific direction. So if I have half-headed arrow pointing up, what I can understand, positive half. If I have half-headed arrow pointing down, this is what I can understand based on negative half. So usually we are going to pair both of these opposite spin as this one to indicate two electrons. So, for example, I have three ways to write or to draw the orbital diagram for oxygen. We can see from here, they are talking about the same thing, whether orbital diagram as a box or orbital diagram as a platform or orbital diagram as concentric circle. So they are talking about the same thing and when we are filling the electrons, we have to follow the three principles or rules that you've learned so far. So let's try one example how you want to write the electronic configuration for atom at its ground state and as ion. So I have here positive ion, we call it also as cation. When we want to write the electronic configuration, we know that positive ions means that electrons are removed from the orbitals of the highest energy or orbitals from the outermost shell or valence shell. So for example, I want to write down the electronic configuration for magnesium. I'm going to use my simple term EC stands for electronic configurations. So I hope you can understand what I'm talking about when I say EC. It is referring to the electronic configuration. So let's continue with EC for magnesium. First thing first, you have to write down the symbol for magnesium, which is Mg. You can bring the notation for the proton number, or if you want to write down as Mg only, it is fine because we know we are talking about magnesium at its ground state with 12 electrons. So I'm going to write the electronic configuration in SPDF notation. So I will have my electronic configuration for magnesium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. So this is how I follow in terms of Aufbau principle based on SPDF notation. Next, if I want to write the electronic configuration for magnesium 2 plus, the ion, where we remove two electrons, I'm going to remove the electron from the outermost shell. In this case, if I write it down like this one, n equals to 1, we have 1s orbital. n equals to 2, we have 
2s and 2p orbital and n equals to 3 we have 3s orbital so n equals to 3 is my outermost shell or my highest energy level so i'm going to remove for mg2 plus from n equals to 3 so we have two electrons in 3s orbital so when i write down my electronic configuration in terms of orbital diagram i will have in this form with no more 3s orbital because it is empty so i will left with 1s2 2s2 and 2p6 next let's continue with negative ion or anion where we know that electrons are added to the orbitals of highest energy when you have anion so i will use oxygen with eight electrons so how am i going to write spdf notation based on eight electrons for oxygen i'm going to write down s 1s2 2s2 2p4 after that i'm going to show you how to write the electronic configuration in orbital diagram for oxygen where it becomes ion with o2 minus so i have here my box specific orbitals in oxygen next i know that n equals to 2 is the highest energy level so i'm going to add up two electrons so originally if i write the orbital diagram for oxygen it will be like this 1s2 2s2 2p4 but right now i'm going to show you how to fill in from left to right same spin first and we got one more four so this is for oxygen but right now i ask you for o2 minus so we know we have additional another two electrons so pair it with another two so we got fully filled all orbitals in o2 minus so that's it for this video i hope you learned a method how to write the electronic configuration whether they give you as element as any specific atoms in its ground state or as an ion so please read the questions carefully and i know you can do that so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one bye